We begin tonight with three of the world's biggest companies and what they are saying about the global economy. Caterpillar, the maker of construction and mining equipment, which reaches more than 180 countries, blew past earnings estimates, but it also issued a warning. Procter & Gamble, the world's largest household products firms, which touched consumers across the globe, said revenues fell from last year, a sign of weakening demand or perhaps something else. And 3M, a manufacturing conglomerate, cut its full-year outlook. Together, these three companies are sending a message to the markets about the global economy. Giant multinationals, Caterpillar, 3M, and Procter & Gamble, all Dow components, are feeling the effects of a stronger dollar, the freefall in oil prices, and geopolitical uncertainties. Caterpillar beat revenue and profit estimates, but says the road ahead looks bumpy. It's holding to 2015 sales projections of $50 billion, but lower oil prices have cut demand for CAT's exploration equipment. Other sore spots include mining hardware, locomotives, and in China, construction equipment. I'm going to be very realistic here with you. We will not repeat this quarter uh, the rest of the year. We've seen a real dichotomy here in the world. The U.S. growing fairly slowly, but growing steadily. And everywhere else, uh, there's not much good news. In some locations, it could get worse because Caterpillar has yet to feel the full impact of oil's freefall. And now the Petrobras scandal in Brazil. Brazil has sort of been a basket case. The one thing to remember is that they're sort of a manana economy. Our surveys told us that North America was going to be a lot better than people expected. And that is going to continue. The next green shoot is going to come out of Europe. I mean, QE is going to make it happen. Europe's economic stimulus is one reason the dollar has strengthened, though, and 3M joined the chorus of companies blaming a stronger dollar when it missed earnings estimates. 3M, which makes post-its and coatings and ceramics, lowered its outlook for the rest of the year. Procter & Gamble also said the dollar is hurting sales, which dropped by more than 8 percent. P&G does about two-thirds of its business outside North America. To cut costs, CFO John Moeller says it can change its product mix, source materials locally, and work on efficiency. Well, the good news is these are, these are things we should be doing every day in our normal course of business, and uh, we just sharpen the focus and, and keep it going. It's part of everybody's job. Obviously, markets like Russia, the Ukraine, Venezuela, Argentina are very difficult right now. We need to be selective in where we're targeting growth. P&G's biggest markets, the U.S. and China, are a little better off, and that's where they're hoping to find growth.